All right. Uh, well, uh, we will pick up on that theme of uh, the latest events in Italy with James Creedon. Hello there. Taking us Hi, through uh, some of those talked about stories online Absolutely. today in Italy. Photographs of naked statues are being tweeted. We just got a little clue as to why in That's our news right. bulletin there. Hashtag statue nude. And it is in connection to uh, President Rouhani of Iran's uh, visit uh, to Italy to seal uh, a multi-euro uh, dollar, multi-billion euro agreement. <laughs> there you go. Mega bucks. Uh, a lot of money. Let's just put it <laughs> that way. In any case, statues uh, of uh, nude uh, men and women uh, at uh, the Capitoline uh, Museums in Rome were covered up in Italy uh, in, out of respect uh, for uh, President Rouhani and uh, indeed a lot of people uh, thought that that was unnecessary. Others uh, were commenting on it in other ways but you can see here images of those statues, nude statues, very much covered up uh, inside uh, well, cardboard boxes, essentially. They were very much boxed in. Ciao, Rouhani, says uh, Angino Brioche. And I think this is a, a provocative tweet, uh, Catherine, because uh, if, be. if she is uh, putting hashtag Rouhani on that nude image when the real things have been covered up, it's probably a, a little bit ironic. Uh, you also have the famous statue of David uh, being tweeted and uh, others saying, welcome to Rome. Uh, at Hassan Rouhani, so that's directly being tweeted to his uh, Twitter handle. Uh, also on Instagram, you had images showing uh, the famous statue of David being censored and cartoons as well. This one here is saying on the left, an Italian solution, where, where you have the statue covered up, or a solution that might be more logical, which is, yeah. well, covering Rouhani himself. I think it's uh, all in good humour. This one might be slightly more provocative, showing some statues covered in Burka. So I think that's a more of a political I'm not sure uh, women statement. wear burkas in Iran. I don't, I don't think, think they do. Thing. So it's actually factually incorrect, but I suppose it's somebody in their own way saying we don't agree with covering up statues. Now, it is interesting because a, a similar debate took place in France back in November when uh, President Hassan Rouhani was in the French capital. And in fact, a lunch at the Elysee Palace was uh, cancelled over a row as to whether or not halal food and should be served and whether no wine should be present at the meal. Now, uh, they couldn't actually agree on how to uh, put together the protocol for that uh, meal. So, uh, in fact, uh, on the basis of Republican traditions, uh, the Elysee Palace refused to uh, provide an alcohol-free and halal uh, lunch. And as such, the Iranian delegation refused the lunch offer. So uh, very much uh, a refusal there to strike uh, an accord, whereas I think the Italians uh, have been somewhat more welcoming or uh, making more compromises, whether people like mm. them or not. Well, as my mum always said, if they see anything their granny hasn't got, they can throw their hat at it. So <laughs> that's there the Nicholson go. way of doing things. Depends on how you want to receive your guests. Exactly. Right. Um, well, we're going to move on with more hashtags, more world leaders. Yes. James, you keep talking about Nicolas Sarkozy. I'm going to get you some are his number one fan. Emails. <laughs> He's good for buzz. <laughs> People have been talking about him rewriting history. What's this all about? That's right. Well, there is a hashtag. Uh, Rewrite history like Sarkozy. Now, this is in relation to his new book, which has been getting a huge amount of buzz last week and this week. Now, there was one historical error in the book. Now, you can imagine that he probably didn't pen every single word. There is usually ghost writers for this sort of book. But he spoke about the um, very difficult campaign between George W. Bush and Barack Obama for the American presidency. Uh, they never actually uh, w w went against each other uh, in a presidential election. Uh, Barack <laughs> Obama uh, never faced off with Bush. So that's a pretty huge error. Oh and uh, uh, those That's not rewriting history, that's just getting it wrong. That's just getting it completely <laughs> wrong. But uh, Twitter users have been um, using that as a sort of a jumping off point to uh, suggest that he has rewritten history in other ways as well. Um, Nicolas Sarkozy, always as, as popular as ever on Twitter, seeing as he, uh, thanks to his big victory over the Huns. Now, this is uh, actually uh, also referring to uh, the fact that uh, on Facebook several years back, he claimed to have been present uh, on the evening when the Berlin Wall came down. Now, there were photos of him at the Berlin Wall, but they were actually taken a week after the historical event. So he did seem to rewrite history for that particular detail, which probably gave people even more fodder to uh, riff off this. I said to Churchill, parachute me <laughs> in alone. I will take the Church of uh, Saint Mother. That must be a reference to uh, uh, the, the Holy Normandy Mother. landings and all mm. that. There you go. In any case, uh, people having a bit of fun with that.
<laughs> including you. Yes. <laughs> well, finally, uh, chilly weather continuing in the United States. And if you're considering going to New York yes. on holiday anytime soon, uh, one particular abode in Brooklyn has caught a lot of people's eye. That's right. Now, it's being dubbed, uh, we, with a lot of snow uh, of late uh, in uh, New York, the snowpocalypse, it's been referred to. It's Snowzilla. Snowzilla. Well, apocalypse. I don't how know. about the trendiest hipster abode f uh, during the snowpocalypse? Now, some clever man in Brooklyn constructed an igloo, Catherine, and he decided to put that igloo up on <laughs> Airbnb. Now, it actually managed to Quite stay cute. there for a few hours. <laughs> and he said an igloo for two, et cetera, et cetera. But apparently it didn't meet the requirements of Airbnb's oh, uh, website. Uh, <laughs> they contacted him and he said, look, uh, I got shut down. This is his tweet announcing that it's no longer available because uh, the igloo didn't meet occupancy standards. Uh, though they were nice why. enough to tell us that it looked very well constructed. You can see a photo here inside the igloo where, in fact, they even put in some sort of bedding. Uh, <laughs> kind and, of beer, I think. Yes, yeah. and a little bit of lighting as well. So uh, there you go, igloo for two. Uh, perhaps the trendiest uh, residence in Brooklyn right now, Catherine. I want to know how he built it. I want to have a go. Well, it probably <laughs> took him a long time. And probably did. It, it might already be melting. So. And we never get that much snow in Paris anyway, That's do we? True. All right. An idea for prisons if we do that. Exactly. Thanks so much. James Creedon with Media Watch.